ready. Because even a dude, he pulled up next to me wearing the turn lane, I should ask if he wanted a piece of this thing. Give him the juice. You want the juice? You crazy mother- What is up everybody? My name is Dane Thompson and welcome back to another episode of Burn Down. So on today's episode, you might notice that I am looking rather dashing. Um, I am in my work attire and I am dirty from sanding on that thing. Just a little bit, we were trying to finish up a couple things. And then I kind of got to the point I just realized, does it really matter? Like there's dents and rust and holes and stuff we're painting over to get in those last little crevices. Does that really, really matter? Is it gonna make that difference? Probably not. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna wrap it up and you and I are going on an adventure because I have to take that thing down to my buddy's shop so we can actually shoot this in a paint booth. I've never shot in a paint booth. I figured this would be kind of fun to uh, commemorate the very first time I've ever been in a booth. Everything you've, I've ever done, you've ever seen on YouTube, all of it has all been done here in my home garage. So, what a better way to break in, you know, a, a rookie, a virgin paint booth, er, paint booth guy, than with a crappy car, probably the worst car I'm ever gonna pay. Well, I can't even say that. If I keep painting these cars for these dudes, um, this is probably just the tip of the iceberg, but this is probably one of the worst paint jobs ever but it's gonna be the most fun because I'll be in a legitimate booth. So hopefully the lighting is decent and air. I've never, like I said, I've never shot in one. So this is all new to me and uh, it'll be fun. The not so fun part is getting this over there. This thing is a POS. The brakes kind of barely work. The, uh, oh, let me show you. Let me show you a few. Let me show you some awesomeness on this thing. So I'm hoping that the screw that holds this is rusted enough that that doesn't fall off. Um, there's lots of things that could probably fly off when I'm going. Granted, I doubt it's gonna go very fast. And then, um, yeah, it's just, it's pretty exciting in here. So, uh, I know the windows roll down and then the brakes are kinda not the greatest. And then I don't think the gauges work, I don't know. But, we don't care. We're going on an adventure. We're gonna get in this thing. I have no idea how much fuel it has. So I'm just gonna, I, th I think I'm just gonna drive it over there and then hopefully it makes it back home on whatever fuel is in it. Uh, good luck to the dude that has to take it home. Sorry, buddy, but uh, yeah. So as long as I make it there and back, that's all I'm worried about. Worst case though, I've got gas cans and I'll just sit like an idiot and then explain to the cop why I'm sitting on the road. I don't I guess I'll have to figure out how to turn the hazards on. Anyways. So that is it. It's uh, it's only a few miles away. It's not terribly far. It's a little bit of an adventure. We'll take this, drop it off, then my wife will follow me, bring me home, and then I'll put all my supplies in my truck. And then we'll get over there this afternoon and hopefully start slapping some paint on it. I gotta bag this whole thing up. I'm not doing the back, we're just doing the cab. But all this stuff, I'm not taking anything apart. I did take the mirrors off because they were just giant and ridiculous. But everything else we're just gonna leave, bag it up. We're gonna blow some color on it and then we'll let it flash overnight, bring it home tomorrow. But Figured you guys would go along with me on the adventure, getting it over there, see if it's exciting at all. And then I will show you guys when we're in the booth getting down on this thing, uh, considering I haven't been in one. Plus, I can film in a booth because uh, it should have fans and stuff and not get my equipment all dirty. So let's go for a ride. All right, let's see you guys here for a second. All right, got the AC over there. Full AC here. Get this bad boy fired up. Okay. So that is what the fuel gauge reads. It says it has oil pressure. I don't know if that works, and then I don't know if that works. But um, yeah. No idea how much fuel is in here. We're just gonna go slow down the freeway. Got a steering wheel that's sweet. The steering wheel is reminiscent of the Malibu. But yeah, that's it. So, got that one rolling. We'll just get out of here and hope we make it safe. All right, we're off to a good start. Brakes are very poor. And uh, yeah, you're like a tow truck driver. Rolling. Oh, I don't have any mirrors I can't see behind me. So, duly noted. So I think this thing will be really 
fun to try to pick people up that are stranded. Like, to roll up in this tow truck instead of a legit one and be like, oh, I'm gonna rescue today. I would be so disappointed if this thing showed up to like save me, unless it was getting me gas or changing my tire. Oh, those brakes are terrible. Here we come, freeway. I'll be the slowest car on the freeway, dude. <laughs> I can't see anything. This is awesome. Although, I'm actually less scared in this than I was in Flossy Missile's ramp truck. We're rolling in the ramp truck right now. He just informed me that the rear tires are from like 1982. <laughs> <laughs> so, hopefully we make it. Sorry, Flossy. That thing is sketchy. Woohoo! Oh, this is a nice pace. Not so bad. this thing. We're only gonna make it, shoot, not very far actually. Um, this guy pulled out, but um, yeah, this thing is road ready. It's even a dude, he pulled up next to me we're in the turn lane. I should ask if he wanted a piece of this thing. Give him the juice. You want the juice? I will tell you one thing. It is magical driving an old car. Even a junky square body tow truck. I don't know. Like, I know I look really white trash right now, and this thing is terrible, but it's still so cool. I don't know what it is. I know everybody else looks at me and thinks that I'm absolutely not cool, but I feel pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it's just all my white trash DNA. All right, we're here. We're gonna pull in. I'll show you my boy's spot. Let's go around back. All right, we made it. Still one piece. Let me turn this thing off. We are rolling. Good boy, doing your custom paint design. We're gonna get down on this thing in the booth later, so I'll bring you guys back when we're in action. You go tell them that this shirt is here, go home and get all my stuff and run a few errands. We'll pick it up when we're back there actually doing it. Well, 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 looky here. I forgot all about you guys because I'm just trying to jump right in. I got one well this evening to get this thing done and then i gotta get it out of here in the morning because dude needs his uh space back but check it out we're like somewhat kind of legit very weird but look at how much room is in here man like in, compared to my home garage the door is actually open i don't have equipment i've got lights down low so i can actually see down here this is gonna be weird but I will tell you what, in true Dane fashion, this is absolutely the worst uh, car ever. So I am so excited that it is in a legit booth, like we're treating it like it's actually worth it. It shouldn't even be in here, honestly. This thing is probably not even worth putting in the booth, but I'm excited I get to try it out. You hear the train running. Um, yeah, pretty cool. It's got, you know, the air and the big fans, nothing's on right now, I'm just masking everything up. And then uh, once we get it bagged up, we will blow it, I think. I don't know, we'll see how bad the orange spray is. Maybe I'll just throw you guys in the corner over here and we'll just let it rip. <laughs> and then I guess I'll try to wipe my GoPro off or something. But let me finish masking it up and then we'll bring you guys in here when it's time to rip. There's a little shelf over here. I think we can just pop you up and you guys watch me make a mess of this thing. So that'll be fun. All right, back to work. It is a few hours later. You can see the sun's kind of going down. Um, I've been masking everything off, almost finished it but my wife and son came out, had dinner with me, which is very nice. My son helped me mask off some blinkers and whatnot. Oh yeah, now you're good. But we are almost done. I just have to bag a few more things up and then we're gonna get to spraying, but it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. It's really hot, so I'm just getting it done. I'm not trying to kill myself. So I'll just bag this up, bag the wheels, and then that whole back monster is gonna get bagged up. And that is it. You gotta trim on one side, not on the other. That's pretty fun too. So that's it. A few more things, we'll bag it all up. And then the other thing you can hear in the background is probably very annoying is that fan. I'm trying to get a little cool air in here, man, because it's hot. And it's a single stage that I'm doing and I don't want to chase it because I've never shot it. It's hot rod flats. 
not familiar with it, so if it starts not playing nice, then uh, I'm gonna have problems. But we will see how we go. We'll get it all bagged up, wiped down. Hopefully the temperature drops a bit. We'll kind of leave everything open for a little while. And then we'll hit it. So keep it locked for that. I'm gonna finish up. All right, we're gonna rock a spot prime on all the bare metal spots. And then we'll come back directly after that flashes off and it rocks the base. Although my camera is pretty much toast. So I'm not gonna film doing the spot prime, my little gun. And then I'll just put it on a time lapse and uh, we'll let it rip for as long as the thing lives. All the paint, so. So it is the next day and what we are going to do is we are going to go back over to my buddy Junior's shop. We are going to check on the tow truck and see how it looks, make sure it's still all there and everything is good to go. And then we'll unbag it. We're going to let it bake probably for today and then we'll pick it up in the morning. Um, I have to drive it back over here and it, the paint is so fresh I really don't want to drive it um, this early. I'd rather have it bake for at least a day, harden up a bit. So we don't really get any rock chips or anything stupid, hopefully, on the on the freeway on the way home. Granted, I don't think it would chip it because it's soft, so I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. It's brand new. It's like baby fresh. So we don't want to screw it up. Let's go check it out, see how it did, and then we'll get the plan together. But yeah, I think she will bake today, come home tomorrow. I just got to get it out of Junior's way so he can get things rolling today. And that All is right, it. Let's see how this thing turned out. My camera died yesterday while I was doing the time lapse. But, as you can see, it is red. Turned out good for what we were trying to do. That is it, we will just unbag it, send it on home, and on to the next one. So, it was my first time in a paint booth, which is way better than a home garage for, for sure, 100%. Um, other than I kind of had a tricky one because I had to stand on this thing. There's not a lot of room in here to stand and then paint everything. So a little bit of a cluster at that. And then my boy's hose, um, he just does like pieces and parts. So it, it would barely make it around to one side and then to this side. So um, next time I'll just bring a nice long hose so I can get around a vehicle or whatever it is I'm working on. But other than that, it was awesome. So thank you very much, Junior. This is rad. We'll get it back home and on to the next one. You guys, like, subscribe, share, keep it locked. I'm out.